Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Good afternoon and welcome to uh, Pacific Partnerships in Education. I'm your host, Ethan Allen, here on Think Tech Hawaii. And Pacific Partnerships in Education is about uh, all the amazing work that's happening around the region here in education. We have a truly amazing guest today, uh, <laughs> Dr. Virginia Henshaw. Uh, welcome, Virginia. Oh, I'm delighted to be here. Virginia is a former chancellor and a prof professor of tropical medicine, medical microbiology, and pharmacology at the John A. Byrne School of Medicine. Amazing person. And we're going to really be talking about this stunning thing that she developed, this mini, <laughs> mini medical school on healthy aging. And it's, it's a great event. Uh, it's really helpful, really appropriate, since what is it now? They say every, every day 10,000 baby boomers turn 65 mm -hmm. and have been for years and will be for, for years to come. So mm -hmm. healthy aging is clearly going to be a big thing. So is that, is that sort of what started you on this? Uh, or, or what was it? Well, there were several reasons. Mm -hmm. One is about Hawaii because we have the highest percentage of people over 65 in the nation, and we live longer, which is a blessing, mm -hmm. but we want to do it in the best way possible. And then also, I wanted to work on a project to involve both the university and the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Hawaii is special in many ways, right. but certainly has more respect for kapuna right. because of the native Hawaiian and the Asian cultures. And I knew we had a great department of geriatric medicine at Jabsom and lots of folks in the community mm -hmm. that were in, you know, working on kapuna is issues. And so I decided that that would be a good project to provide a program that would give them good information about what they could do in their lives to stay healthy and their, improve their well-being for as long as possible. Yeah, that's what struck you, and, and sort of a disclaimer here, uh, I, I participated yes. in a session of this uh, a couple of years ago, and it was just filled with these this sort of worthwhile, practical, widely applicable, mm -hmm. good stuff, you know, that you can immediately take home and use about just uh, simple things about how to get up out of a chair and how to keep your yeah. balance and, and just practices in your daily life that will help help you age gracefully and, and health, uh, be healthy in, in your aging. So it was it was truly uh, truly amazing. Good. So uh, let's, let's. I suspect many of the viewers don't really know much about this. Can you give us a little overview of sort of the general structure, what, what how this runs? Well, we this is our fifth year, wow. and we have two sessions a year. We were just going to have one, but it was so popular, we decided we better repeat. Okay. And the we had it in the spring and the fall. We have 170 people in the class, and we meet on five Saturday mornings from usually 9 to 11:30. And we have two lectures, we have a social time, and then we also offer options that people may or may not want to participate in. Um, and uh, then we have graduation, with complete with music and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I recall it, it was wonderful. <laughs> and, and these lectures are amazing. You, you found stunning people to come and talk, and it's, they're not dry academic lectures. They're, right. they're really wonderful, they're rich, they're filled with interesting, useful, vibrant, dynamic stuff. They, the lecturers uh, oftentimes get the audience up and doing things, exercises, and right. uh, so it really keeps things moving right along. Yeah. So, um, and what, what's the cost of this for people? Uh, it's free. Um, the reason I've been able to do that because Dr. Rosita Leong, for whom it's named now, uh, endowed the program and then also the participants have been very generous in supporting it because that was the goal. If I could offer it for no charge, that would be great. Now, it is by invitation, but that's solely because I want to be sure people will commit mm -hmm. to the five Saturdays. As you know, I take a role. <laughs> <laughs> you better show up. <laughs> right, because usually we have a waiting list, so right. you want to be sure each seat is used. Right. Um, and so that's worked really well. We've been able to maintain it. HMSA Foundation was helpful in getting us started with a grant, and University and Jabsom and UH Foundation and UH Cancer Center mm -hmm. have all put in support for it. Right, because it takes place in the in the. Cancer Center Sullivan. Yeah, the yeah. Sullivan Conference Center, yeah. which is just absolutely perfect it for is. that. It's a wonderful venue for, yeah. for that, and, and yeah. it makes it uh, very, very easy to step outside and, and mill around and socialize, mm -hmm. socialize. During, during the break, uh, which is, I think, an important part of that, right? Oh, it's extremely important. We, we uh, have four goals. Uh, we want to be physically active, mentally engaged, socially connective, and nutritionally balanced. Mm -hmm. But if I picked out the two that are really 
pivotal is the socially connected and the physically active. Mm -hmm. That's going to do a lot for your health and well-being if you are that. Yeah, that, I mean, that resonates with the, the whole Blue Planet project, right? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, these are the commonalities of these sites around the world where you have populations of, of very healthy, very long-lived people. Right. Uh, when uh, these people Hawaii are does pretty well. Right. <laughs> and typically, in all these sites, people are physically active. They are well-connected. Yeah. They eat a, a, a healthy diet. You know. Right. Uh, they have something to do in their lives, typically. So now, sometimes we have cookies, too, though. <laughs> <laughs> can't be too healthy, right? <laughs> well, excellent, excellent. And um, so this is this has grown over the five years. You you mm -hmm. you've you built it, you've refined a little bit, you, you, and I, as we were talking beforehand, you said you're starting to now take it electronically? Right, we tape our lectures and okay. we put them up on our website, okay. and we also put them up on Spectrum on 342 or 1342, uh -huh. and that's an on-demand channel, okay. so you can watch them whenever you want, uh -huh. because we have multiple islands, uh -huh. and so we wanted to reach different populations because we physically can't do any more in the room. Sure. And then also we're working on some projects to live stream uh -huh. the project to other islands where they'd have a similar group gathered to do the same thing. Oh, excellent. So you, you could have a little local site with right. local uh, master or mistress of ceremonies, but show selected ver uh, episodes or parts of other. Uh, right. Others, yeah. yeah, I'm a researcher by nature, right. so I like to try experiments each right. year. Yeah. So each year we have a different experiment we yeah. do to yeah. see. Some, most work, but some don't. Yeah. No, but that, that's, that's great. That uh, keeps the whole thing fresh, yeah. keeps bringing in new material. You're building up, you must now have a great library because some yeah, we have over things, 40. Right. And some of them must be sort of not repeats exactly, but the same topic covered m multiple times now? Well, we change the topics mm -hmm. each year. Okay. We have the same topics for the spring and the fall, and then the next year we have totally new speakers and new topics. Oh, excellent. excellent. I have not run out of topics. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, the, the issues around aging are oh, innumerable. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all been using <clears throat> the equipment a little longer. Mm -hmm. uh, since we're aging, mm -hmm. uh, but we're, I think most people are very devoted to trying to figure out what they can do to remain healthy. Oh yeah, uh, all it takes is, is a, an accident or illness to make you right. r truly appreciate right, what, what value uh, good health has, mm -hmm. and uh, that's immeasurable. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, the, 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 I mean, what, what, what is it that uh, Andrew Weil says that the, the goal is to, to shorten that period of morbidity, right? And you right. want to mm -hmm. be living healthy and then drop dead, basically. Yeah, right. <laughs> we don't always get our wish. Right. No, no. They're... So some of it is to help us adjust to the changes that might happen right. as yeah. well. Sure, none of us are 20 years old. Uh, uh, we were out uh, just a, uh, the last couple of weeks, I've been out trying to uh, doing an event that I've done for 35 years, and I notice yeah. it involves clambering uh -huh. around on hanging stuff in trees and climbing up on counters and all. And I'm a little <laughs> more cautious now about those things. You than should I used to be. be. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, our age range is interesting. We've had from 18 to 94. Wow. But the majority majority of the folks are 55 to 75 okay. because it's focused on things that are particularly important for the second phase of your life. Sure, sure. And it is important to recognize those changes are happening, right? And, right. and adjust. I mean, we actually. And what's normal, not normal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're actually in this event that I was talking about. We've actually now recruited some young people to come and do some of the more parts of it that require people to be very agile, yeah. uh, climb right. up in a booth and put a, put a flooring <laughs> down in the loft ten feet above it. Well, one of our uh, speakers said, told everybody, "Don't be hardhead. You know, stay off ladders. Do you know, <laughs> let somebody else do that." Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, as as we. All typically don't have quite as good balance and agility yeah. and flexibility as. Tai Chi is the best for balance. I've heard that. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. do, do you practice Tai Chi? Uh, I'm not very good at it, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. because I tend to move too fast. But uh, yeah, I, I do it. I like it. That's it's very I, relaxing. I've I've heard very good things about it. And mm -hmm. People have suggested it would be it would be good for me to take it up. I, mm -hmm. You you do have a, a very special thing. I will we'll get we'll get later on to, to a video. But you you are a champion javelin thrower. You you That's are the, the, the top javelin thrower in your age group in Hawaii. If I That's understand. true. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at you know. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. We we could uh, we could we could actually. I wonder if we could show the, the video of that. Just to, I know it's out of order, but maybe maybe our talented uh, crew can pull that. Uh, Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> How far do you throw it? Not far enough. <laughs> my son told me to keep my primal scream short because my javelin doesn't stay in the air too long. <laughs> but I have a great time. Excellent, excellent. Um, since we've started in on this, so maybe we, maybe we could start in on, on a couple of the picks here, and, and okay. uh, so we got a better sense about about what the what, what this mini mini medical school is like. The, the first one I think shows a, a group of people sort of in, in the more more uh, basic mode within within the, the cancer center facility there. If we can bring that up. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first picture. There we go. So yeah, you can see there's there's your 170 people. Uh, right. Sitting there, a lecture up in front, some nice big monitors and all. Yeah, it's a perfect room. And uh, as I said, we have about 170 is the capacity for the room and it's full. Right. Um, and we do it for five Saturdays. Right. And, and, um, and all people have to do is let me know they're interested right. in attending um, so that I can be sure they get the information. Yeah, yeah. The second picture, I think, Sort of, sort of shows uh, maybe a little, little close-up of some people laughing and enjoying it. The, the, these, these lectures are not uh, dead serious, uh, must-take-notes kind of thing. No. Your, your, your notebook typically has all the, the notes, the slides mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we prepare binders for everyone that shows all the presentations, mm -hmm. so they can take notes. But the speakers are also told to incorporate humor. Right. Because I think laughter often is the best medicine. Oh, absolutely. And um, we, our theme is seniors rock. Uh -huh. okay. So we talk about the positivity effects of aging. Mm -hmm. And there are many. Sure. And most people don't talk a lot about that. Right. And yet we should. Yeah. Because we're, we're fortunate to get old. Yeah, we are. I mean, it's, uh, we bring, it brings us some perspective, hopefully, right. on life. Yep. Uh, some insights, some a wealth of Wisdom. experience to, to, mm -hmm. to grab onto, you know. To, to, yeah pull from, yes, and, and hopefully wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's amazing that when you look at 170 people in this age group, there's about 10,000 years of experience in that room. Oh, and so that's fascinating yeah. to see. That they're very fascinating people. Yeah, yeah. Inter interesting, interesting. And they're lifelong learners, and that's why they're there. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's what, what you got, what you got to be. And then you do the, the social interaction that happens, and these, <laughs> that's shown in, I think, the third picture here. Yeah. Um, you, you, you make that an explicit part of this whole thing. There's, there's a whole break. People get out, get to chat with friends, meet new people. Right. Uh, it, was, it was very, very, uh, as I recall, very open, very uh, convivial group. Well, this is where I did an experiment once. At first, it was only 10 minutes, and that was a disaster. So now it's 30 minutes to be sure they have time to greet old friends, make new ones, interact, uh, because the social part is extremely important, and they actually want to have a reunion, uh -huh. which I'm working on, is uh -huh. we, if we could have a reunion of, well, there's over 1,400 people uh -huh. now that have been in it, but they really enjoy that aspect. You know, it's funny, it's, uh, it's one of the things I have found most commonly at conferences of all sorts they don't do enough of is, uh, is yeah. set aside time for people just to mingle, socialize. Mm -hmm. On almost any conference, no matter what you're doing, what it's about, what you're trying to get done at it, it seems to me that's something that is often a short change, so it's great to hear that you've, you've really given that some serious emphasis. Well, it really, it, science lectures are, you know, little rooms look the same everywhere. Right. <laughs> but what's important is about the people that are in that room, and then allowing them to interact outside. They, they learn all kinds of th aspects about different people's lives and experiences and wisdom. Absolutely. We're going to continue this discussion, but I'm told we need to take a one-minute break right now. Sounds Again, uh, Dr. Virginia Henshaw is with us today here on Pacific uh, Partnerships in Education. I'm your host, Ethan Allen, and we'll be back in one minute. Hello. My name is Stephanie Mock, and I'm one of three hosts of Think Tech Hawaii's Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. Our other hosts are Matt Johnson and Pumai Weigert. And we talk to those who are in the fields and behind the scenes of our local food system. We talk to farmers, chefs, restaurateurs, and more to learn more about what goes into sustainable agriculture here in Hawaii. We are on at Thursdays at 4 p.m. and we hope we'll see you next time. Aloha, I am Howard Wig. I am the proud host of Code Green for Think Tech Hawaii. I appear every other Monday at 3 and I have really, really exciting guests on the exciting topic of energy efficiency. Hope to see you there. And you're
are back here on Pacific Partnerships in Education. I'm your host, Ethan Allen, here on Think Tech Hawaii. With me today is Dr. Virginia Hinshaw, uh, Chancellor uh, Emeritus and uh, Professor of all kinds of things at the medical school. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about her mini medical school for healthy aging. It's a wonderful sort of informal learning experience. Runs five successive Saturdays, uh, twice a year. Uh, it's a group of 170 people coming here, wonderful speakers talking about all kinds of topics that are relevant to, to the aging process. As she says, with a very a focus on very positive aging, to age well, to age gracefully, to age healthfully, if I may. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's really a, a uh, as far as I know, it's, it's a unique thing. I, I, I haven't seen anything quite like this anywhere else. Uh, perhaps you have, you may have researched it more than I, of course. Uh, well, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> and it has to be appropriate for Hawaii. But yeah, it's, no, it, it's well matched. Uh, I, I, I had forgotten the fact that, yes, Hawaii has a, a large population of elderly people mm -hmm. and more of us pouring into that group every day. And uh, it, it's, uh, we're not often prepared for that in a sense. So we aren't trained to get old, right? No, and people talk a lot about the negative aspects. No. And that gets really disheartening for older people. So as seniors, we need to think about uh, aspects that we've gained, mm -hmm. you know, and there, and there are actually some biologic changes that happen that are quite helpful. Like, for one example, your amygdala in your brain, it slows down. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good thing yeah. because it, it generates fear, hate, and anger. Mm -hmm. And so we mellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's nice. So there are physical changes that actually occur, and people worry about, oh, I can't remember what so-and-so was. Well, we are a little bit slower on recall because we have to make too many connections. Right, yeah, we've got so much information yeah. there. Huh? It's kind of like a full hard drive. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> a six-year-old, what have they experienced, really? You know? But we do get to the end point, right. and that's what um, people need to appreciate. It just may take a little longer, and you can see it on a test mm -hmm. where the, we're going back and forth. And we also use both sides of our brains more as we age, mm -hmm. and that tends to make us more compassionate. Right. Okay. Uh, so there, there are lots of positive aspects. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, and um, so let's see, we, we were actually before the break, we, we were looking at a, a few images, and I think we have an, another image uh, of uh, one of the exercises you know, when your speakers. Oh, have yeah. To do. Can you tell us a little bit this about this? This is Qigong. Okay. And in the options, we do all kinds of different things. We've had a lot of exercises for people to try standing, seated, Tai Chi. We, we do all kinds of things or topics that we think most of the class might want, but not everybody. Right, so and so we have an option that runs from 1130 to 1230. Uh -huh. and and uh, so that, that's proved quite healthy for people, too. They've enjoyed that. Oh, it's sort of a little ex extension if you, if you want right. to stay. Right, if you want to stay, and fine. And do something. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. great. And then, yes, you, you go through uh, and uh, bring the whole thing together with, with a formal graduation. Yeah, as, as, you know, <laughs> yeah this is our graduating class, and uh, we have fun. We, mm -hmm. Jairus, Hedges, and I dress up mm -hmm. and uh, in our graduation attire. And then we have uh, music for this occasion mm -hmm. and lunch together to share the fellowship that we've gained during the course. Yeah, no, it, it was great because I, I know I met several people at the first or second session that I right. saw repeatedly and got you talking to a little bit mm -hmm. more. And, and yeah, it was it was wonderful uh, to, to have that kind of thing. Uh, that's, that was very, uh, very helpful. <laughs> Good. So, um, so you, you you mentioned at one point you have you have a website for this, right? Right. And, right. And its web address would be jabsom.hawaii.edu backslash mini med school, all one word. Oh, okay, mini med school. Okay, so if they get to the Jabsom site, they you should can get to the Jabsom yeah. site. Just put mini med, and it'll come oh, okay. up. Okay. No, that, that's good because then you've got a bunch of the the at least the formal content, right? As it were, uh, archived there and presumably mm -hmm. searchable. Right. We have uh, res we have resources mm -hmm. that you might want to look at, and we have information about all the speakers. Okay. Speakers uh, because the speakers have been, just been wonderful. Yeah. They you, you, they volunteer. Yeah. Um, um, they're interesting, informed, uh, caring and, uh, people. Very dynamic. Oh yeah. Uh, you, you had, you know, it was hard. But well, they're selected. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you obviously do a very good job curating them because they're. Uh, 
uh, I recall, I mean, you know, it was sort of like, wow, that person was great. And, wow, this next person even better. You know? Well, we meet yeah. uh, together beforehand. We go over the speaker's guidelines about what may, is most effective with this audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's been very helpful. Right, because given that audience, a lot of people in that audience have heard a lot of talks over their oh, years, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. so if you're going to be memorable, you have to talk to Take the it up a notch. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> sort, of, sort of like a TED Talk kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, really, really knock it, knock it out of the park. Excellent. Um, Maybe we can go and pull up that, that uh, video of one, one of your right. uh, participants talking about this. Yeah, I suspect her reaction was not, not at all atypical. People, people oh. really like this, and the pe people I know, that all the people I talked to uh, in the group I was in certainly enjoyed it greatly. So where, what are you, uh, you going to take this? Are you going to continue it, and are you going to expand it? Are you going to... Well, know? it's endowed now, okay. and so it will continue. Excellent. Excellent. And um, one of the experiments I'd like to do the coming year is to have a counterpart, say, on Maui. It would have a big group too with the same materials that we have, and we could then stream it over. Wow. Um, and I've often wanted to. We have some 10 minute videos, TED yeah. Talk type videos, okay. and those were designed basically for community centers to gather people but have an expert there. Mm -hmm. So it's more local and it's for people who can't get to the mini med school or don't particularly like watching longer videos. Mm -hmm. They could use these to have a discussion mm -hmm. about their health and well-being. Sure. And that's that's uh, really needed. And it's obvious it's hit a sweet spot yeah. in the fact that people are very enthusiastic and uh, they're devoted about coming mm -hmm. and participating. And we have homework, mm -hmm. so you got to do your homework. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's really been great to see them make changes in their lives. It, it's going to help them. Yeah, I mean, is this this really gets to the whole the, the social determinants of health business. Right. In, in a sense, you are helping people build a, a better scaffolding or a better support system for their, themselves, right? Right. And really empowering them to to take better care of themselves, take better care of their friends, their relatives, their. Mm -hmm parents, siblings, whatever. You know. Well, we've noticed, too, that a lot of people share the information in the binders mm -hmm. with their friends and relatives, and uh, that's great, because mm -hmm. that's a magnifier. Yeah, exactly. And helps get the information out there, um, because, as I said, we, we could have a certain size room, right. uh, but I'm very much into the fact that, you know, education, you've got to get it out to everybody as much as humanly possible. Right. And so that's why we do the website and Spectrum. Yeah, that, no, and I like the idea of, of doing different formats in other communities, sort of community right. center locations and all, because again, you, you can build through new models of it in a sense. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you get a local gerontologist there showing a couple of videos and, and stimulating community discussion on what right. what can people in that community do to support one another and, and make life better for themselves as, as they age. You know? Well, and, and we can do a lot, oh. actually. It's We can't prevent everything, but... Oh. Um, we, we can do a lot better job. And I really would love to have younger people involved so that they would start early. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to prevent than it is to treat. <laughs> sure, sure. I mean, it's, it's sort, sort of like the whole business with saving, right? If you start yep. saving money at an early age and do it regularly, mm -hmm. relatively painlessly, you will find as you, as later on you actually have a lot more money than if you haven't saved anything trying right. to start at age 60, trying to establish a retirement account, you know? Well, athletics is a good example because when I was a young uh, girl, there were none for women. Right. And so you really weren't supposed to do that kind of stuff. And so now we encourage people of all ages, mm -hmm. not just the young people, but the older people, to exercise, use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's true. Right. Um, and so we want to get them engaged in what works for them. Not necessarily what works for a 20-year-old, right. but what works for them. Sure. No, and it's often just a, a, a simple, small walk each day. Yeah. That's, that's great. Gets, gets you out, gets you moving, get, gives you new stimulation. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of good on, good on a lot of different levels, right? Well, yeah. And it, what's interesting is, you know, in one of the classes we gave everybody a pedometer. Uh -huh. But, you know, there's this issue about 10,000 steps. Well, mm -hmm. that's close to five miles for right. folks. 
And that evolved because of the first pedometer being named 10,000 steps. Oh, really? So my view of it is I tell people to use it to do a little bit more each week. Mm -hmm. 10,000 steps is a lot right. for some folks. So um, I think getting realistic about what you can do, but not quitting. <laughs> sure. No, it, it's, Move. It, it really is important. My, my wife broke her leg last fall, yeah. and that put a real crimp in her walking, of mm -hmm. course. And, and only now is she starting to walk. But now she's fine. Yes, if, if she walks a little more, pushes a little bit, yeah. you know, she's, she's gradually getting back, not fully back up to doing her five miles a day, but she, she's pushing in that direction. That's, yeah. that's the key thing, as you say, a little more each day, right? Yeah. And, you know, when I started the javelin, it was kind of funny because I needed a lot of help mm -hmm. because it's much more complicated than I thought it was. My son was a, a javelin so He helped. I had two coaches. I had my massage therapist, my physical therapist, my sports medicine doctor, and my trainer. Mm -hmm. And the reason I tell people that is because it's good to get help. Sure when you're going to deal with something that's a little bit different in particular that you haven't done before. But go ahead and try it. Right. And there are people that can help you do it in a way that will keep you healthy and then help you if you do something wrong. Yeah, yeah no, that, that, that's a very nice example of learning a new skill with, with a good support network. And yeah, if you did it wrong and you twisted your shoulder or threw your arm out or whatever, you're, you're, it's good to have your physical therapist there know how to treat that right. immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, advise you about right. what to do or, or what, not how, do. How to do it differently next time, mm -hmm. how much time to take off to let it heal before you try it again. Yeah. Well, and it turned it kind of into a social aspect because I formed the Jazzy Javaliers. Uh -huh. And we're all senior women okay. in different age groups. Okay. Now, I will have to tell you one reason I have gold medals is because there's no competition. <laughs> so we'd love to have more people come out for the master's track. Okay. <laughs> so uh, then uh, the, your next uh, session for this mini med medical school is October 6th through November 3rd. Uh, right. Those are Saturday mornings, 9 to 11.30 a.m., five sequential Saturday mornings. Mm -hmm. You have to commit to the whole thing and mm -hmm. be really pretty much ready to show up and, and be there and be alert and active, right? Right. But, uh, uh, and the way they should get in touch with you about it, with you, Directed. Yeah. Well, the best way is just to email me. Okay. It's vhinshaw at hawaii.edu. Okay. There we there we have it. Yeah. vhinshaw mm -hmm. at hawaii.edu, and uh, that that'll uh, you can ask to join in and, and right. basically uh, if she'll she'll give you a third degree. And <laughs> <laughs> well, we welcome folks because yeah. the more folks we can have learn more about staying healthy, it's. It's better for everybody in the community. It's exactly. better for the younger people and the older people. Exactly. It's to no one's advantage to have people in ill health right. declining, mm. uh, being a, a burden on themselves, being a burden on those around them, right? It's, and besides, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that, 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 was a, that was a good thing about it. Uh, it's an ama amazing, uh, amazing, uh, I don't want to call it an event. Uh, but it, it's, a, it's a school, it's a medical mm -hmm. school that you have set yeah. up and, and you've done it in, in a nice accessible way. You've done it in a way that, that helps a lot of people. You, you're obviously, if you've done this five times, twice a year now, mm -hmm. you've got, yeah, that's, uh, you, you've helped a lot of people directly and with your website and you're now streaming it out. You're, you're helping thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Well, you uh, do look for magnifiers yeah. as to how you can get the word out, such as this program, yeah. to uh, help people learn that there are educational opportunities mm -hmm. out there that you know, you need to be aware of and maybe you like to participate because um, I think it is, education is just such a wonderful activity. It, it's, Learning it, is a joy. Yep, yep there's no, nothing to beat it. Yeah, and I, I learn every time too. No, I'm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> and and you're, you're, all your participants, I'm sure, learn much more though. So that, that's great. Uh, thank you so much, Virginia. This has been a real pleasure. Uh, I've learned a lot, and uh, I'm sure our viewers have learned even more. I hope many of them will, will uh, contact you and try to sign up, and if okay. not for this fall, maybe for next spring. Right? That'd be great. Excellent. Uh, again, Virginia Hinshaw, uh, Chancellor Emeritus and Professor of Tropical Medicine, Medical Microbiology and Pharmacology at the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Thank you so much for being here, Virginia. My pleasure. All right. And we'll see you in two weeks for the next episode of Pacific Partnerships in Education. Until then.